Hey everyone, this is Tiffany from Cult Radio Agogo, Craig Live, here with you. And uh, I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to chat with you um, about uh, some updates that we had over the past week and also to talk about the upcoming show tomorrow night. Um, you might notice I'm in here by myself. Terry is not with me right now, he's upstairs. But since I didn't want to do this, solo, I decided to bring a co-host. Um, those of you who have been listening to Cult Radio for a long time will remember Wicked Kitty. She was with us from the very inception of Craig, and she's still going strong. She's a little chubbier. Middle-aged spread has gotten to her, um, but she's, she's still a good girl. She's still with us. Um, now that we have this Facebook portal that we've been using occasionally during Craig Live, uh, Terry and I thought it would be kind of cool to share occasional um, behind-the-scenes stories and updates with you. Um, we're going to try to do this like once a week or every other week or something like that um, and just kind of share, kind of, you know, pull back the uh, third curtain a little bit. So... Um, this past week, we actually wanted to share um, a story in regards to our guest from last week. So if you listen to Craig Live last week, um, you can listen on the station, uh, Cult Radio Agogo, which you can access by going to craigradio.com. Um, and you might have also seen the behind the scenes video that we shot on uh, Facebook last week. But if you listened last week, then you know that our guest was actor John Savage, who you can see on the screen over there. Um, what's playing in the background is the video that we put together for YouTube uh, that features our interview with John from last Saturday. So um, if you listen to the interview, you know that John is a great guy. I uh, stayed with us for almost an hour to chat about not only his career, um, which of course we always want to talk about, but also his views on a lot of things. And as we had mentioned during the live show last week, it is very important to us to let our guests be themselves. Uh, one of the things that we pride ourselves on um, is letting actors, directors, writers, um, musicians come on and show who they actually are. Um, so often, I think people in the creative industry, even though they're in the creative industry, um, I feel like they get pigeon held and they get um, pushed into a box and into a bubble. And people tend to forget that they're people, um, that it's not their, their world, I'm sure, is very consumed with what they do, but they're not just an actor or just a director or just a writer. Um, they are people that have, you know, hobbies and interests and concerns and thoughts and, and um, activities and, and activisms and things like that. So that was something that uh, we always put out there. And it was something that, you know, did come come forth with our interview with John last Saturday, um, because he not only uh, discussed his movies with us, but he also talked about his feelings about, you um, history, um, how our society as a culture has progressed or lack thereof. Um, he talked a little bit about politics. He talked about war. He talked about peacetime. Um, he talked about the state of our world right now um, with what we're going through with the pandemic and, and you know, it being an election year and things like that. Um, and so it was a very interesting, almost hour long conversation. So going back to the behind the scenes thing, um, I got a call from John on Sunday and uh, it's so interesting because Terry and I are kind of used to, you do the interview and then when the interview's done, a lot of times you don't hear from people anymore. Um, so I was kind of caught off guard a little bit when I got a call from John. So um, I gave him a call back and uh, we talked for a little bit and he wanted to let me know that he just wanted to call me off air, basically, um, you know, radio BS aside, uh, to find out how Terry and I really were and if we were okay and everything that was going on with the fires. And he had told me that, um, you know, whether it's PTSD or otherwise, because of the fact that he went through the Woolsey fire, 
um, that he wanted to make sure that we were really okay, um, knowing that we are all but three to four miles away from the lake fire. Um, and so that was very, very sweet. We talked a little bit about that and assured him that we are okay as of right now. Um, we haven't been asked or told to evacuate, of which had we, we would have left immediately because, you know, it's, you love your stuff. You don't want to lose your stuff, but you can't replace your life. Um, and so we talked a little bit about that. And then the other thing that he had brought up, which I thought was very sweet um, and made us very proud is what I wanted to share with you guys. And that was, he had said that in addition to checking and making sure that we were okay, he just wanted to check in with us um, and let us know that he really appreciated the interview. But more importantly, he thought that what we do with uh, the station and the show um, is very, very important um, for multiple reasons. He had told me that he felt, hold on, don't lose the cat. He told me that he had felt that in this time that we're going through was the world the way that the world is with the pandemic and the backwards politics and things like that, that he thought that a giving people a platform to speak their minds and speak their opinions and speak their truth was very, very important and uh, that it was good work. And he told me that he also uh, thought that it was very important in our current day and age for us to um, just basically bring awareness, bring awareness of what's going on in the world, bring awareness of what's going on in politics um, which, you know, we're not a political show, but we do allude to it and we do let our guests speak, speak their opinions, whatever they may be, um, and basically educate the public on what is going on and how you need to vote, regardless of who you vote for, you need to vote, um, and you need to be involved and you need to care for one another, um, because the world's not going to get any better than the crazy mixed up place that it is right now if we don't start doing that. So um, John had said that he just really enjoyed talking with Terry and I, and he wanted to thank us and tell us that he thought that what we were doing was very important, not only for all of those reasons, but also because it's giving people an outlet when we are under a uh, worldwide pandemic and we are under quarantine right now, just having an outlet and having a, a way and a place for people to connect with one another and um, still have a modicum of human contact he thought was very important and he went on and on about how what we do is is very very important and thanking us so that was very sweet um so that's the one little behind the thing scene things that i wanted to share with you this week um there's usually always something crazy going on so <laughs> i'm sure we'll have plenty to talk about here uh, but I did also, as kind of another behind the scenes teaser, want to remind everybody out there uh, to tune in to Craig Live tomorrow. So tomorrow, which is um, the 29th, yes, August 29th, uh, you want to tune in um, because we're going to be doing one of our retro media shows. Um, so for those of you who don't know, uh, let me just kind of give you the rundown really quick. Um, basically... We have two formats of our radio show, Craig Live. Uh, Craig Live is on every single Saturday, uh, kind of like the postman come rain or shine. Um, and the two different formats, one is a two-hour format and one is a three-hour format. Now, when we have a guest, uh, like we did last Saturday, um, we come on the air live at 6.30 p.m. Pacific, which is 9.30 on the East Coast. Um, and we go three hours um, because... We have a guest and the guests usually range anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes of an interview. Um, so that's the kind of format that we had last week. Um, then every other week we do a two hour format, um, which is what we're having tomorrow, this coming Saturday. Um, and those are what we call our retro media shows. And uh, those start at 7 p.m. Pacific, which is 10 o'clock on the East Coast. Um, and that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. So tune in for Craig Live at 7 p.m. Pacific, which is 10 o'clock on the East Coast. Um, and our retro media format, we go two hours and we feature some kind of something, some kind of entertainment off of some retro form of media. So it's exactly what it says it is. Um, so that means that we're going to feature something either off of a cassette tape, a vinyl record album, an eight track cassette, 
um, or something like that. We haven't gotten into real real to reels yet. We have some, but we still need to get a player. Oh, kitty, stop it. Um, she's mad. She's very mad. Um, so tomorrow, actually, though, uh, August 29th, um, we're going to be doing a retro media show where we're featuring um, something from Terry's uh, AM FM radio career off of WLUV radio from Rockford, Illinois. Um, and uh, we've got a couple of tapes standing by. We got to figure out which one we're going to use tomorrow. Um, I know one of them, at least one of them has, I think, two segments of classic news, which I know a lot of our listeners have told us that they enjoy. Um, now, these tapes from Terry's radio career, his AM, FM radio career, um, they're from some like 42 years ago. So it is kind of cool to go back and not only listen to what I refer to as baby Terry, um, but also uh, to hear you know, things that were present at the time that he recorded the show um, back in the 70s, uh, late 70s, early 80s. Um, and that can be, you know, news of the day, um, or it could be, um, you know, what movie just came out. We were listening to a tape on Cry of Live not too long ago where Terry was talking about the brand new movie that had just come out, which was 9 to 5 with Dolly Parton. So it's kind of fun. It's kind of a, an old retro take, uh, look and take back at, at what it was some 42 years ago. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. Again, the show starts at 7 p.m. Pacific, which is 10 o'clock on the East Coast. Um, for those of you who are friends of ours on Facebook, but don't know where to tune in to listen, um, you can tune in to listen by going to our website at cragradio.com. Again, that's cragradio.com, C-R-A-G-G-R-A-D-I-O.com. Um, and there is a whole plethora of ways to tune in over there. Um, tons of links for different carriers that carry us, um, you know, we're over on TuneIn Radio. We're over on uh, lots of different places. Um, just look for the little image on the website that tells you who our carriers are. There's two images side by side. One lists our carriers for the live station, and then one lists our carriers for the podcast, which basically we take our live show every week and turn it into a podcast a couple of days after it's on live. Um, other ways that you can listen, there is a cult radio app on the iPhone, although it's only available for older iOSs. Um, but you can listen to us on your mobile device through the TuneIn app on your phone. Um, also, for those of you who have a Roku streaming player, uh, we have an official cult radio Roku app that tunes into the station's live feed. Um, so to find us there, just go into your Roku search and look up Craig, C-R-A-G-G, -G, um, or you can look up Colt Radio if you want to spell it out, if you want to take more time to do it. The app is totally free, and there's a couple of things in there that you can do, but one of the screens is to be able to listen to the live feed, so you can tune in that way as well. Um, just keep in mind that even though we do these little Facebook updates here um, up with Facebook video and the Facebook portal, um, these are only behind the scenes kind of videos and they are what we call OV. So they're occasional video. Um, sometimes we go live during the shows with the video, not always. Um, and when we do, you can only hear what's going on in the studio. So you can hear me, you can hear Terry, but you won't be able to hear what's actually being broadcast, which is the music, the, the old radio show, the interview guest. So um, we're just trying to kind of raise awareness because there's been some people in the past who have been confused because they'll find us on Facebook because they're on my friends list or whatever. Um, and they're like, well, I can't hear the radio show. You're not going to hear the radio show on Facebook. You have to tune in to Cult Radio by going to craigradio.com, getting our Roku app, or uh, tuning in through a mobile device through an app like TuneIn. Um, again, you can find out all the different places that you can listen to us by going to cragradio.com, which you can also do on your mobile phone um, or tablet, and it'll give you a list of everywhere that you can find us. Um, so I think that's about it. Um, I don't think we're gonna do um, video on Facebook tomorrow, um, but maybe we'll do it the following week when we come back, which by the way, the following week when we come back, um, is going to be September 5th, and that's five whole days before Terry's birthday. So that'll be kind of like the pre-birthday show. Um, all right, that is my update. Again, a uh, very special thank you to John Savage 
not only for being on the show last week, but for reaching out and the sweet message that he delivered. Um, also, special thank you to Steve Carver for connecting us with John. He's a wonderful person. And so is Steve. They both are. Um, all of John, all of Steve Carver's people are good people. So we were elated to chat with John. Um, so thank you to John again. And thank you to all of the listeners. And let me know if you enjoyed this little update. If you did, we'll try to do more of them. Um, other than that, I'm going to go because Wicked Kitty is getting restless. And I feel like I might start getting attacked. So... Let me try to slowly ease up here before she gets super mad. She's getting mad. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, for Crag Live if Kitty doesn't kill me. In the meantime, Crag Live tomorrow starts at 7 p.m. on the West Coast, 10 o'clock on the East Coast. And you can tune in by going to cragradio.com. Bye, everyone.